everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to the MFT YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the new outside the box level up dynamics and go through the process of how you assemble this die. This is another new die in our outside the box collection. This is a fantastic set of dies that works to create box cards to give your projects lots of dimension. This is a follow up to our original outside the box dynamics and this one has a completely different shape that's going to make it really fun to create cards that almost have a stage-like effect. So you're going to get all of the dies included there and I'm gonna go through the process of how to assemble each of the pieces to create your box card. So you're going to need to die cut the long strip as well as two of the side rectangle pieces and the large oval shaped background. You're going to take your scoring tool and you're gonna fold along the score lines. These are already included on the die cut piece when you die cut it. And you're gonna, just gonna go ahead and fold over all of those little tab pieces and use your bone folder to really press down and make sure that you have really nice solid crease lines on those folds. This die has a really unique shape where we're going to create the side panels that kind of start taller in the back and go shorter towards the front. I always like to use liquid glue when I'm adhering my box cards just because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room and I can move the pieces around to get them exactly where I need them before making sure they're adhered down. So you can see when I adhere this on, you can see that die piece on the front of the card panel. I'm not worried about that because we're going to cover the inside of that piece there with another piece of cardstock. And I like to have the really smooth outside on the back. To start to assemble the box card, we added the first side piece there and then I added the straight piece along the front. Now for the other side piece, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adhere it to the back portion of the box card, but I'm not going to fully close my box yet. You can, if you prefer, to close the box completely first and then add your shelves on the inside. But I have a trick that I love to do that makes it so quick and easy to adhere the shelves on the inside, and that's what I'm gonna do here. So what I do is I lay the box open completely flat, and in that side area on the left side of the box card, right after the score line that meets the back of the box, I'm going to start to adhere my shelves. So I add a little bit of liquid glue to the side tab, and then I'm just going to position it right against that score line, and I'm going to make sure that I have it below the side panel. So you just kind of want to watch with this one that you continue to go downwards as you add each of your shelves. Once I know that I have it in the right spot, I'll fold it over and make sure that I have it completely straight, and then I'll let that adhere to the side of the box. I'll then continue on all the way down, adding all four of my shelves, and like I mentioned, you can see that I'm kind of doing a layering effect where I have the shelves going downwards. You wanna make sure that they're always underneath of that side panel so that you're not going to see them kind of sticking up when we close the box card. And I always use the shelf above to make sure that I have the lower one lined up straight. And once I have them all adhered, I'm gonna go ahead and add liquid glue to the other end after I've scored all of the end pieces. And I'm just going to fold over the side of the box card. And what that's going to do is it's going to adhere to the side of the shelves and it's going to line these up perfectly on the inside of our box. I can then take my liquid glue and adhere it to the side piece of our front panel and completely close the box to create our finished box card. So now you can see how quick and easy it was to add the shelves by doing it that way and everything is lined up and spaced perfectly. You didn't have to kind of fiddle with the box with it already closed. This makes it super quick and easy. And you can see when we fold over in either direction, it completely flattens our box card and makes it small enough to fit in an A2 size envelope. The final detail on this die set is the outside pieces that you can add to the sides as well as the front and the interior piece of the back. And this is the part I mentioned where we cover up those little tabs that we glued on so you're not gonna see them in the finished project. So there is the outside the box level up dynamics. It has a very cool design where you can kind of layer your images from top to bottom and have them go up in sort of a stage effect. We hope this video helps with the assembly of your new outside the box level up dynamics. As always, I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.